th now this is what is this is what is very 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 simple don't think that i have completed the concussion i have already given you a basic idea about the concussion but let me explain you the concept of edh so when we talk about edh basically i am not going to talk about edh i am going to talk about something which is known as lucid interval so if i ask you people what is the concept of lucid interval you will say that sir it is a stage of normal neurological behavior in between the two states of loss of consciousness and this is commonly seen in edh i would say yes but dear students what is the cause behind this 90% of the students don't know let me explain it to you try to understand this and from today you shall have a totally different concept about the edh now when we talk about the edh what is the reason for edh the major injury is the a trauma traumatic rupture of the mca so uh, middle meningeal artery suppose middle meningeal artery is damaged damaged and traumatized so let us see this is the hematoma arising from this and you know this is the first injury so what is the first injury that we have injury to the middle meningeal artery now imagine there is injury to the middle meningeal artery but initially the hematoma is not big enough to show you any feature of compression or you can say any feature of decompression uh, you can say do you know that according to the doctrine of munro kelly any hematoma in the skull is or any mass in the skull is initially you can say uh, managed by reshuffling of csf into the spinal cord and you can say egress of the venous blood into the what into the systemic circulation so according to this concept this hematoma is always in the compensated phase in the initially maybe later it goes to an extent when the intracranial pressure will rise and the patient will have what the complication then why do we initially get loss of consciousness because this hematoma is not going to cause the answer is edh are mostly associated with high impact trauma so because of this high impact trauma the first injury that you have is rupture of middle meningeal artery and since this is high impact trauma because of this you have a second injury also and what is the second injury that is nothing but super imposed state of what concussion since it's a blunt trauma so yes concussion can be seen and by rule since it is a concussion you will have the state of what loss of consciousness i have already told you that concussion has three grades amnes a loss of consciousness is the last grade but initially you can have altered sensorium we can have the uh, amnesia we can have the loss of consciousness and this is what is known as the colorado's grading system i'll write it for you don't worry so when we talk about the concept of loss of consciousness this is not due to hematoma this is due to concussion and by rule you have seen we have seen i have explained you whenever there is blunt trauma due to that there will be electrophysiological alteration and whenever there is electrophysiological alteration there is massive efflux of k plus and when there is massive efflux of k plus there is cortical depression now because of this atp channels are activated massive energy is inflown into the system and the brain reactivates the depressed part so now by rule the loss of consciousness which is due to the concussion will have a phase of what recovery so this is going to be recovered so there is recovery so stage 1 is loss of consciousness stage 2 now what we are seeing is what recovery meanwhile on the other side this hematoma is what student expanding 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 and there will be a time when because of this hematoma there shall be increase in the intracranial pressure so there is increase in the intracranial pressure in the what stages in the late stages and therefore because of raised icp the cpp will fall and therefore stage 3 will be what students stage of complications and this is what is very 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 important because of complications now the patient will again have loss of consciousness so can you see in between the two stages of loss of consciousness in between the two stages you have a phase of normal neurological behavior and that is what is known as lucid interval so remember lucid interval is not due to edh lucid interval can be seen in any head injury which is associated with high impact blunt trauma why we don't see it in sdh because sdh is mostly seen in elderly where a trivial trauma so dadu fell down from a seat
So this is sufficient to cause rupture of bridging cortical vessels, but this is not sufficient to induce a superimposed concussion injury and that is the reason why we don't get to see lucid interval in them. So next time someone says lucid interval can be seen in head injuries, yes it can be seen because it is due to superimposed what uh, superimposed concussion. So this is what is very 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 important, I will cover EDH separately, try to understand what is Colorado's grading. So Colorado's grading. Colorado's grading is a grading for concussion and this is what is very 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 simple let us understand that Colorado's grading 